Today I'm going to show you step by step how to create a progression bar animation like this one and this one and we're gonna do everything in Canva for free. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial, let's go to my computer. In this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create these two animations and we're gonna start with this one. We're gonna go to canva.com and we're gonna create a new video document. We're gonna go to the video section and then we're gonna select the first option that says video 1920 by 1080. We're gonna create our progression bar with elements inside Canva. So let's go to the elements section, go to lines and shape and click see all. From here, you can select the shape that you prefer. I think I'm gonna go with this one right here. Now I'm gonna increase the width of this bar and now I'm gonna add a border. So let's go to border style. This is actually a fairly new feature in Canva, which allow us to add borders to our shapes. I'm gonna select this type of border and then increase the border weight. I think something like this is gonna look good. So 20 points. And then I'm gonna remove the color inside this shape. Okay, now let's duplicate this shape and we're gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna add a color. So let's select black and I'm actually going to remove the border. Now I have a solid shape and an empty shape. I'm gonna position the solid shape on top of the empty shape and I'm gonna position it a little bit up so I have space to add my text. Now let's go to the text section and add a heading. You can write something like loading and add three dots next to it. If you want, you can increase the size of the text and also you can change the font style in here. I'm gonna adjust the position of these elements and I'm gonna increase the size of these elements. Now we're gonna start working on the animation of this loading bar. So let's adjust the timing of this page. I'm gonna leave it to 0 0.1. And now I'm going to duplicate my page. I'm going to make sure that I'm selecting this gray area and then duplicate. Now I'm going to work on page number one and I'm going to start reducing the width of my loading bar. I'm going to select the background of my design and then duplicate the page. Go to page number one, keep reducing our loading bar and I'm going to repeat this process until this shape becomes a circle. Okay, I cannot keep reducing the size of this element, so I have reached the end. And now let's preview our animation. I think it's looking great so far. If you want to make this animation slightly slower, you can adjust the timing here and increase the time, let's say 0.5 and apply to all pages. Let's preview the animation now and you will see that it is loading slowly now. I'm gonna go back because I actually prefer the faster animation, so I'm gonna stay with this one. Now let's download the animation, go to share, download and you can select either mp4 or gif. I think I'm gonna go with mp4, select all pages and download. If you want to use this animation on top of other videos and you want to have a transparent background on this animation, I'm gonna show you how to do that at the end of this tutorial. Now let me show you the steps to create this other animated loading bar. For this second animation, I'm gonna be using my tablet and also an Apple Pencil, but you can follow the steps that I'm going to show you if you are working on a laptop and you can do it with your mouse. If you are working on your mobile phone, unfortunately, 
the app that I'm going to show you today is not available yet on mobile phones. Let's open the Canva app on our tablet or iPad and we're gonna create a video document. So let's go to the video section and select video. We're gonna add a shape and a text box but these are going to work as guides because we are going to draw on top of them and then we're going to delete them. So let's go to the elements section. I'm going to select lines and shapes, see all, select the shape to create our loading bar. And now let's add a text box. So let's go to the text section, add a heading, and now let's customize the text inside the text box. Now I'm gonna change the font. So let's go to our toolbar. And if you already follow us since a long time, you know that I love the font called Lazy Dog. I'm gonna select this one because for this animation, we are trying to find a handmade look. And I really like the style of this font. I think it's going to go really well with the style of this animation. I'm gonna keep increasing the size of the text box and change the color to red because I'm gonna draw on top of this with a black color. Now, let's go to the menu on the left hand side and select more, the three dots. In here you'll see an application called Draw Vita. We're gonna open it. I'm gonna select the marker, the black color, and then I'm going to draw on top of this shape. It doesn't need to be perfect. And then select done. Now we're gonna draw on top of the text. So go again, select marker, go for the color that you wish. I'm gonna go for black. And then I'm going to draw on top of this text box. Select done, and now we're gonna bring this drawing to position backward, so we are able to select the text box and delete it. We're gonna do the same thing with our loading bar, so position backward, and then delete our shape. Now we're gonna start filling our loading bar. We're gonna select marker, select the color that you want to have inside the loading bar, and start drawing a section, just a little section of the loading bar. You're gonna select done. Once you have this first section of your loading bar, we're gonna adjust the timing. So let's go for 0.1 and then duplicate the page. And we're gonna work on page number two. We're gonna add another section of our loading bar and then hit done. We're gonna follow the same process, duplicate the page, work on the next page and keep filling our loading bar. You're gonna follow the same process until you have completed the loading bar. Let's preview our animation and this is how it is looking. When you are done with it, select the arrow pointing upwards on the navigation bar on top, go to download and then select mp4 all pages and download now let me show you how to remove the background of the animations that we just created we're gonna go to unscreen.com this is a free platform and from here we're gonna upload the animation that we just created with canva as you can see the platform is removing the background from the animation and now we just need to download it if there is a specific animation that you would like to learn how to create in Canva, please let me know in the comments. We are always open to your suggestions. And actually this video was created because of one of the comments that you guys left on another of our tutorials. As I know that you guys like animations, I think you might be interested in a tutorial in which I teach you how to create this animated message. If you want to see that tutorial, I'm gonna leave it on the screen right here and I'm gonna leave the subscription button in here in case that you want to keep learning about Canva and about animations with us. I think this is it for today. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and hope to see you in the next one. Bye!